Hi everyone, welcome back to the IT and Psychology YouTube channel. Today we are going to be solving the SOP 5 of the SOP is for our chapter 3 advanced uh, JavaScript. So, before we start, I would like to tell you that I've made several videos for the subject of IT and Psychology that include the paper pattern, the reduced syllabus, the information in four videos for uh, IT and Psychology. And I've also made a detailed video on uh, the exercise solutions, detailed videos for the exercise solutions of various chapters, like the first four chapters of IT and the first five chapters of psychology. And I've also made videos for the concepts explanation. And you can view all of those by, uh, via the link given in the description. And what all past SOPs we have solved You'll find a Google Drive link where you'll find all the files that we have worked on in the previous videos. And you'll also find a playlist for the videos of the past SOPs that I've solved. That are the last 12 SOPs that include the first 8 SOPs of Advanced Web Designing plus SEO. That was our 8th SOP. And the first 4 SOPs of Advanced JavaScript. So without further ado, let's start with our SOP 5. Create event driven JavaScript program to convert temperature to and from Celsius and Fahrenheit. This is the formula that we need to input in our JavaScript program that is C by 5 equals to F minus 32 the whole divided by 9. Where C is equals to temperature in Celsius and F equals to temperature in Fahrenheit. The output format should be 40 Celsius equals to 104 Fahrenheit and 45 Fahrenheit equals to 7.222 recurring Celsius. So I'll just take you guys to the folder we'll be working in so that we can start making a blank web page. So I'll just open it quickly. So this is the uh, explorer, file explorer and here this is our SOP5 file. So new text document and then rename it to the file extension you need to put for this. So we will be putting it as celsius.html and we have changed the file name extension. So this is the web page we receive after changing the file name extension and now we'll add in the code or we'll construct our code in our notepad version so right click open with notepad so i'll just share the screen for the notepad with you guys so that you will find or you can spectate as I quickly type the code in and you can understand it as well. So as I continue on uploading these SOPs, please note them down in your journal because your journal carries 5 marks in your uh, total internal marking for your IT that is 80 marks for your theory paper and 20 marks for your practicals that is 15 marks for your actual 3 hour practicals and 5 marks for your journal that you have constructed with these all uh, SOPs uh, for the code and the output has to be drawn as well on a blank page. So both need, both are required your uh, browser output and your code that you have written in your notepad interface. So we start out with our basics. And then we add body. H2 H2 tag JavaScript Celsius yes to Ferrin height. Sorry for the caps. Mm 
he insert a sort of number into one of the input fields below colon close paragraph tag on a new one and then we add in our next step of our code input type equals to text id equals to c on key up equals to convert input type equals to text id equals to open right sorry f on key up Degrees Fahrenheit. Note that the old method used third is used is used comma so that result will be we return close paragraph tag and then we start our script our main script type first to text comma javascript no what that's all wait that is a slash just made a mistake text convert degree if degree is to
three x equals to document dot get meant by id c dot value to nine by five plus thirty two plus document dot get even element by ID dot value equals to math dot x and then we close this and then and then we just take this control c and then we add else open the curly brackets again and drop it here and you have to make minor changes over here where and replace this by f one c and we change the formula here and this is our code for here and then we have to just close this and this was our javascript program and just as i complete this code i just proofread it so that you guys do not have any complications when you write this code down or when you view the output so i'll just take two minutes and i'll just review this and you can just see the output we receive in about two to three minutes or pause the video here note this code down and until then i'll just see the output so this was the folder we were working in previously and now i'll just click on the web page and we'll open it and we'll see the output we receive okay so we have been given the output formats or the default output formats that we need to use so for that i'll just share the screen with you guys so that it will be visible to you so this was the web page we got previously so i'll just open the web page and we'll type in the values that we were required to put in so here at 104 and as our first output format 40 celsius equals to 104 fahrenheit we are getting that correctly and for 7.22 for 45 we are getting 7 reckoning 7.22 reckoning accordingly so we are correct here 
and uh, please i'll just take you guys to the output we or uh, the code that we we did to put uh, so that we receive this output so i'll just take you guys to the code and you guys can note it down asap so this was the code that we used so this was our sob5 sob6 and 7 will be uploaded shortly please be patient and if you like the video please drop a like comment your views about how we could upgrade this experience for you guys and if you guys do not have a pc or laptop device you could use html editors that you will be able to find in your google play store or apple play store and you can access html editors and create your own javascript programs via those applications you do not need a pc for everything other than php that we'll be learning in the next week or so using the lamp installation uh, process and uh, using the lamp servers to use our php programs so was side scripting mainly so my client side as well we learned about both of these in the start of our chapter 3 javascript so this was the sob5 please like share and subscribe thanks for watching if you want to support the channel you can uh, follow me on patreon via the link given in the description and you, if you have any doubt pertaining the topics uh, taught in this video or the topics taught in previous videos you can contact me on telegram via the link given in the description we have successfully gained a strength of 82 subscribers on our main telegram channel and we have 42 current members of our group that readily ask doubts and if you have any doubts you can ask as well or you can dm me in on telegram as well and please do not ask for your college uh, assignment solution because that's for you to do if you want any exercises or if you want any other uh, extra questions that you need to do that are not in your textbook you can freely ask for them and uh, there will be a trivia quiz sorry that i could not keep that on 8th november but we'll be postponing it to 15th of november due to some technical issues so i'll just brief it again a 25 marks test for uh, the it students till the first four chapters and a 25 under test actually a quiz of on our telegram group uh, this will be applicable or only the students or that are on telegram will be able to attend this so those students can attend this and oh you can have a 25 marks test you will have sorry you will have a 25 marks test for it and a separate 25 marks quiz for psychology so if you need if you want to attend you can uh, join the group by the link given in the description so bye everyone take care and stay safe